Hello and welcome to WePC. My name is Jay and today I'll be talking to you about the differences between full versus semi versus non-modular power supplies. There are a wide variety of things to consider when purchasing a power supply from wattage to efficiency, but before that, we need to address the modularity of the component. For the new builder, the differences are obvious, but knowing the benefits and downsides to the different types of PSUs can sometimes be unclear. So let's first start with non-modular power supplies. Now, non-modular power supplies look and do the same as other power supplies, except that the cables are all soldered to one circuit board inside. This speeds up manufacturing, making these ugly components very cheap. <laughs> these types of power supplies will often feature in budget builds, and even though they still do an effective job at powering your system, the nest of cables is an absolute eyesore. If you are on a budget or are building a system in a case with no windows, then yeah, a non-modular PSU is acceptable. However, be aware that cables will gather dust and airflow inside will be negatively affected, which can increase the stress on your components. My personal recommendation for a non-modular would be the Corsair CX750 Watt Bronze. Next is the semi-modular power supply. As you may have been able to tell from the name, the semi-modular PSU has some, but not all, cables hardwired. Semi-modular power supplies have your main cables like the 24-pin, 8-pin, CPU and PCIe cable all connected to one circuit board. Next to the dedicated cables, your SATA cables and sometimes an extra PCIe cable are your modular options. Think of a semi-modular PSU as a hybrid power supply with a mixture of attributes from the non and fully modular PSUs. Semi-modular PSUs are a great way to save money on your new build. With these semi-modular PSUs, you don't have to compromise too much on unused cables as you will be plugging in most of the important pre-attached cables anyway. And my recommendation for a semi-modular would be the Corsair CX750M Bronze. And now lastly, we have the fully modular power supply. And as you expect, all of the cables are individually seated. If your budget allows for it, then there are no negatives to a fully modular PSU. And honestly, you may be wondering why bother going fully modular if you are going to plug those importing cables in regardless. Whilst this may be a good point, fully modular PSUs are still highly recommended as they are compatible with the different colored power cables, giving you a fair bit of design flair with your build. The main benefits to a modular PSU are similar to the semi-modular PSUs. Airflow is greatly increased thanks to better cable management flexibility and a few extra sockets to seat the cables into the PSU. You also won't have a nest sat in the middle of your cables as only the cable you require will be used. Thanks to the reduced amount of cables sat inside the case, there will be less dust buildup. The lack of cables and the extra case bait equate to lower temperatures and happier components overall. Now, prices vary depending on the modularity of the power supply with non-modular PSUs often being the cheaper option. The semi-modular PSUs offer a cheap alternative to fully modular PSUs. However, the savings aren't all that much, and this is where your choice depends on your individual building needs. The more expensive fully modular PSUs aren't that much more expensive than the semi-PSUs, so if you can spare a bit more cash, then always go for the modular option. Both the semi-modular and the fully modular power supplies allow the best airflow efficiency. Although these types are more expensive compared to the non-modular power supplies, the fact that they provide the best performance is what makes them a incredibly smart investment. With the ability to use only the cables you need with fully modular and semi-modular power supplies, you can guarantee that you are going to achieve the best cable management that you can. Now, in the past, some manufacturers were misleading with their efficiency ratings, which ended up in the appearance of 80 plus. 80 plus is a voluntary program that promotes efficiency energy use in PSUs. Fully semi and non-modular power supplies are all available in multiple different efficiency ratings so you can get a gold plus PSU without breaking the bank. That being said, non-modular PSUs that are frequently in stock normally have a maximum efficiency rating of bronze, even though some feature with better ratings. Your semi and fully modular power supplies are readily available with silver and gold plus ratings and go up as high as a rating called platinum. Be sure to use our PSU calculator on our website to help recommend the best PSU based on the PC you are looking to build. We provide PSUs based on the wattage you will need as well as recommendations based on PSU ratings. So there you have it guys, a quick video on the differences between the PSUs available. I hope that this did provide you with some important information Information ready for you to build your own PC. If you enjoyed the video, I would love if you could leave a like and subscribe if you are new to our channel. If you click over there, that'll take you to another one of our YouTube videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.